Okay, hi, uh, my name's Alan Butterworth. I'm a musician uh, from North Manchester. Um, first off, I'd like to make an apology uh, personally to Anna. I've commented on quite a few of uh, your films, Anna, and one of my comments was well out of uh, well out of, uh, off the mark. Um, I, I did make an apology after my wife read it and said you, you've just gone too far. Um, if you haven't seen that, then this is a personal apology. Why, why I was so strong with, um, with that statement was because it was the interview you did with Simon Dolan where um, you kept apologising for uh, the staff on the BBC, uh, I think it was BBC Northern Ireland or something, where you said it wasn't their fault, it wasn't their fault. Um, I think we need to stop this um, and that's why, why I did this. I don't know if you saw that but um, that was the reason. Um, I've got some notes here because uh, uh, you asked people to express how they feel. Um, I want to get onto that, but I want to do some um, some blatant publicity. Um, I joined Keep Britain Free uh, this week, and I would uh, urge anybody watching this film to join now. So that's www.keepbritainfree.com. Uh, it's apolitical. Uh, the only thing it's wanting to address. <clears throat> is the judicial review that Simon Dolan set in place. Um, just going back to the BBC, in that film of yours, Anna, with Simon, one thing uh, I would urge people to do as well is to cancel your direct debit to the BBC today. Uh, how, if you pay annually, you can't do that. But if you pay monthly, stop the direct debit today. Um, for the simple reason, when I saw Simon Dolan's um, interview, and he said about the... Uh, he did a search on BBC website and uh, Gina Miller's judicial review threw up 150 searches and his judicial, and don't forget this is something that's already been decided, Brexit we're already doing, so why there's 150 searches on Earth, irrespective. His judicial review, which is ongoing, which is news, got zero. And that tells you something. The BBC, in its mission statement, talks about fair and impartial. OK, it's no longer fair and impartial. So stop paying your licence fee now. Uh, there's another a web, uh, another YouTube channel, I think it's called Defund the BBC, uh, which I would urge people to um, subscribe to as well and uh, go on to. Um, sorry, my wife just <laughs> walked in there. Um, so I would uh, urge people to go on uh, on that that. But yeah, stop paying the BBC. If they take you to court, fair and impartial, we've got them over a barrel here. Yeah, I mean that that in its one um, essence is is what the BBC has become. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, you talk about how you feel. <clears throat> well, I've been following. I should say I'm an anti-vaxer and a conspiracy theorist, so don't bother throwing that at me. Um, when you've done the amount of research I've done, uh, I've got an MA in music, by the way. Um, I've done a lot of study. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm saying is, though, that usually when people talk about being anti-vaccination or being a conspiracy theorist, they've done no independent research. Everything they know has been handed to them, spoon-fed, and they've taken it and they regurgitate it. Very few people actually know anything about anything really. Um, I mean economists are a prime example of that. If economists knew how the economy worked they'd all be millionaires and they wouldn't have to go to work. It's self-evident. Anyway, uh, so that idea of um, I'm angry because we're being frog-marched I think towards a vaccination schedule okay um, that leads on to um, lots of other things of what is really happening I, I haven't a clue uh, I've got friends that believe that Trump is the savior and he's draining the swamp and next year is going to be heaven on earth and and I hope that that, that, that that's true uh, I, I'll, I'll embrace it with open arms um, I've got other people and I tend to feel my research moves more towards the David Icke theory of technocracy. Uh, this thing has been going on, look up technocracy if you know nothing about it, um, and this is where the vaccination 
uh, march towards eugenics and technocracy seems to be. Um, so if Donald Trump is a saviour, that will be a great future. If technocracy and Bill Gates is the future, that won't be any future, I don't think. So um, going on to um, masks, because that's the thing that's kind of stirred things up a bit. Um, all the evidence suggests that masks are no good for you. And uh, we could go into that. Um, that it's raised a, a, a load of other th issues. Um, <clears throat> but masks really, I think, um, are the ploy, <clears throat> excuse me, to make us more ill, uh, to weaken our immune system. There's a horrifying story on, I think, Keep Britain Free of uh, one uh, woman being diagnosed with um, fibres on her lungs now from wearing a mask. I don't know, it must have been a cheap mask or whatever, I don't know, I, I don't know anything about the story. But imagine that for one minute, we've got legislation now about asbestosis. If you wanted to pull your garage down and it's got an asbestos roof, good luck with that because it'll cost you a fortune. We already know the risks of fibres getting on your lungs. If they, if they ever get on your lungs, fibres, your body has real difficulty getting clear of them and really marks a nail in the coffin for you or your lifestyle going on there on. Um, so is that good advice? Is that good advice to be wearing a mask? I don't think so. And then we get round to uh, choice. Uh, other things your viewers could uh, go and investigate because I'm just at the beginning of it is sovereignty. And I'm not talking about countries being sovereign. I'm talking about us being sovereign. Yeah. Um, there's a thing called the Bill of Rights, not talk, talked about in school, Magna Carta, not talked about, Declaration of Independence and the American Constitution. We haven't got a constitution in the UK. It's an unwritten constitution. So uh, if you look at the American um, Declaration of Independence and rights, we all have rights, but they've all been eroded, I suggest, with this atheist view of science. I've been an atheist all my life. But where we're at now <clears throat> points to me the reason why we've been told there's no such thing as God is because it was linked so fundamentally to the idea of right. Um, and that came from the creator. Someone created you and you're only answerable to the creator. You're not answerable to any other man, any other government. You're answerable to your creator. And that makes a lot of sense with me. Um, anyway, so right. Masks come under that. What right have you to interfere with my body? Um, so on, uh, this has gone on a, a lot longer than I wanted, um, but I wanted to get this message across. Please, if you're watching this film and you sympathise with the idea that you don't know where we're going because no one's telling you and that you have a right to know where we're going, just as you've got rights, then please join Keep Britain Free, www.keepbritainfree.com. And on that note, um, I said I was a musician, and I am. So I'm going to play you a song. And if you want to include it, you can do. If you don't, that's fair enough. Um, I, <clears throat> like I said, I am played for a while, but what the hell? Excuses. Let's go for it. When you're feeling down When you're reeling round When you're hard away Raided yesterday You don't make a sound When all feeling's gone It's time to move on No more time for play That was yesterday for this beat goes on And I feel the time is catching up on me Drive a million miles Taste a thousand smiles Front the magazines, drive by limousine 
make sure it's worthwhile You can go so far Try to touch the stars Reach for accolades But they're all man-made Find out who you are And I feel the time is catching up on me As I steal these moments Knowing I am free Catching up on me as I steal these moments, I bequeath to thee. When you're feeling down, listen for the sound reaching through the trees on a gilded breeze, the voice ringing round. Thanks a lot for listening and keep smiling.